deadly speeds. We have impact types, all these little dark guys. Uh, those are melt rocks. Um, there's literally tens of thousands of them right in this particular area. These were ejected as far as three to five miles uh, under very high velocities, two or three times the speed of a rifle bullet. But if you were an animal in this area and you had thousands of these particles coming at you, uh, you'd be toast. Impactites are a major clue to an asteroid strike and can reveal previously unknown impacts. Fossil hunters in Alaska uncover fragments of tusk from woolly mammoths. They are peppered with buckshot-like particles that date back 34,000 years to a time when the number of large mammals in the region inexplicably dropped. Have fossil hunters uncovered evidence of an undocumented asteroid impact? Dr. Richard Firestone searches for evidence. We analyzed several of the particles from various tusks, and they had the unique signatures of, of, of meteorites. They were rich in iron and nickel, which is a critical component of most meteorites. This is strong evidence that these woolly mammoths died from an asteroid impact. The force of blast was devastating. We did an experiment with a shotgun to see what would happen if you shot a mammoth tusk, and they simply bounce off the outside. Nowhere near enough energy for that. A shotgun fires at 600 miles an hour. Asteroid fragments travel over 30,000 times faster. In order for the impact particles to penetrate the tusks as they did, they'd have to have been moving at tens of miles per second. Firestone's mammoth died in an asteroid impact 34,000 years ago. Impactites embedded in the mammoth tusks prove that previously unknown asteroids have struck the Earth. And new evidence reveals that they didn't just kill mammoths. Humans died too. Thirteen thousand years ago, North America is locked in an ice age. Large mammals like giant sloths and woolly mammoths roam the land. The nomadic Clovis people live alongside them. Then the fossil record stops. Many species of mega mammal abruptly disappear. What causes this sudden mysterious disappearance? The Clovis culture also vanishes from the archeological record. Is it starvation, disease? No one knows for sure. Now a cave in Northern Ohio may hold the answer. 30 feet underground, an archaeologist from the University of Cincinnati discovers evidence of an ancient catastrophe. Ken Tankersley and his team dig up a layer of burnt material in the soil. It dates to when the Clovis and the mammoths vanished. To archaeologists, this distinctive carbon-rich layer, called the black mat, indicates intense burning, a sure sign of a destructive event. Beneath this layer, we have evidence of large mega mammals. Above it, there's none whatsoever. This mat was deposited in a very quick and sudden event. Beneath it, you have evidence of Clovis people. Above it, you have absolutely none. The real mystery is what happened at this very time. What catastrophe caused this black mat? Tankersley searches inside the black mat and uncovers the bone of a wild pig known as a peccary. It tells a disturbing story. This particular bone has not seen air in 13,000 years. The bone shows signs of extreme burning. We know this burning is not the result of cooking. These animals were larger than I am. And to take a human body in a natural fire, you have to burn the body for days. This type of burning clearly came from a very intense, very fast burning, a single event fire, if you will. Did an asteroid cause this deadly blast of heat? If it did, 
there is a vital piece of the puzzle missing. There's no evidence of a crater. This leads to a disturbing possibility. Could an asteroid be big enough to destroy an entire culture? Yet so small, it leaves no trace.